Tonk. Tonk dog. I gave it her! Welcome, Welcome back, back guys. guys. I'm Mimi. It's Kevin. And today we're talking about essential things to pack during a day hike in Quebec. Mm -hmm. For the summer, we are going to do mainly vlogs and hiking videos and activity videos instead of doing the challenges and all that stuff. And we thank you so much. We really, really appreciate and we heard you and we read all the comments about the challenges. We will do them. Trust me, we will do them in the future. We're not ignoring your comments or mm -hmm. reading them. Mm -hmm. We just, if you have watched our first video, our channel is mostly about our adventure. So mm -hmm. we're taking you on a journey with us. Yes. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button. If you like this video, if you like the other videos, the subscribe button really, really, really supports us. Yes. We really appreciate it. Click the subscribe button and comment below if you did. We yeah. want to know. Yes. <laughs> Today in the video, guys, we're just going to briefly do a little list of things like essentials to bring when you hike. If you're on a budget. So here's the little list. And if you want the list, guys, it's at the end. We'll just do a brief resume of all that we just said. So item number one, guys, that we need is obviously a good backpack. So, my wife has this backpack, it's pink, and I wore it in the last videos if you want to check it out. So it's a pretty standard backpack, you know, with pockets on the side for the water. It's super, super nice to not like uh, have the water in the backpack because you could just take it from the side, drink it, easy. For me, I have this brand backpack just for hiking, Offspray, I think it's called, Offspray, something like that. So you saw it on the, on the thing. And uh, I have shoulder pads here, so it's super comfortable here. And I have a back pad, which is extremely comfortable because my first bag was just some pool bag with strings. It worked for me. I mean, I think I went a lot of hikes with that bag, but with this one, it's way, way easier and way more comfortable. And when I finish the hike, I'm way more at ease and comfortable. Point number two, guys, you need proper comfortable shoes. <laughs> we have hiking boots. Okay, so these are very like good quality hiking boots. They're Timberland, if I'm not mistaken. They're waterproof. They reach to your ankle, so they hold your ankle when it's really rocky or muddy climate, and they have a lot of grip. Very good, very warm. But guys, since we were on a budget when we started our hiking <laughs> trips, we wore running shoes. Okay, so you can still wear running shoes, That's what no I do. problem at all. Keep wearing running shoes if. You know that's what you want and you're not ready to um, invest in something more don't worry we don't care that's how we started but it is very important to wear comfortable socks yeah. so don't wear those tiny little tin socks so wear thick socks with a lot of comfort and cushion mm -hmm. and that also has like those breathable mesh fabrics so you don't need to sweat a lot yeah the third item guys is a walking stick I mean it's optional you know it's not required i never really hiked with one just last year i think i did two because my grandfather gave me a handmade walking stick honestly on the way down it was super useful even for me you know i'm 25 turning you're 26 already i'm 26 already <laughs> so for a 26 year old man you know it, it, it was fine you know like uh walking down it kind of it, it helped it was nice you know a lot of balance and it made me feel cool you know because i had a stick in my hand i could Whack trees and stuff. <laughs> so that's it for item number three. Okay, next point. Number four. This is very simple, guys. All you need is sunscreen and bug spray. Very important that you put sunscreen on your face, on your neck, on your arms, wherever your skin is exposed. Yep. And bug spray your whole body, guys. Even on top of your clothes, because you don't know okay. what can attack you in the forest. Yep. It's crazy there. <laughs> point number five is water and snacks. This one time I forgot my water and I, I almost died out with my cousin and like we drank this river water. It was disgusting. So yeah, my wife bought this. It's called water bladder. Yeah. You basically just put, it's two liters, you put it in your bag and this comes out of your bag and it, whenever you're thirsty, you know, just, you just get the water. It's super, super simple. And you add ice in it and it yeah. keeps your water cold for the whole day. You don't need no water bottle, just the water bladder. Perfect for you. But if you're like Kevin who doesn't have it, he got himself. Oh yes, I got this. <laughs> it's amazing. This is the best water bottle I've ever had. It's on Amazon. It's S&M, I think. Yes. 
Yeah, S and M. It doesn't break. Like it fell on the floor from so high so many times. I think I could throw it at a wall. It wouldn't break. And it keeps the water cold the whole day. 24 hours. This is an amazing bottle. <laughs> but yeah, basically I just drink two of these. One on the way up, one on the way down, I'm fine. And for snacks and food, a little sandwich, something super simple, you know, like finger food, uh, peanuts, trail mix, uh, chocolate chips, anything. Energy bars. Energy bars, yeah, Gatorade. Anything small, you know, is fine. Okay, point number six, what you should bring during your day hike. Okay, yes. this is more essential for the girls mm -hmm. than the guys, because when I was talking to Kevin, he was like, no, we don't need that. But as for girls, yes, we do. We need hand sanitizer. We need baby wipes and toilet paper. Why all that? Because you're gonna use a washroom in the woods, so you need your toilet paper. You need to, oh, wash Sorry. your hands. <laughs> you need to wash your hands before you eat and after you wash them, so either you take baby wipes or hand sanitizer. It's up to you. I think they're very essential to pack during your hike. Mm -hmm. All right, and item number seven, guys. I think we said point and item. But we mix it up, sorry guys. You guys know what we mean. <laughs> so number seven guys, it's proper hiking wear. Don't go hiking in jeans and a, and a winter jacket when it's 40. Or you know a giant I mean? hoodie, yeah. no. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, you know? Like I love to wear leggings underneath my short because I don't like when the bugs and the and the leaves Ugh, tickle my legs, that's you know? It's disgusting, it's slow. That's <laughs> just me. And like getting bitten, like on my shoulders, it's fine because I could just like from the mosquitoes, you know, I just whack them, but on my legs, it's annoying to always like, <laughs> You know, so yeah, leggings for me is perfect. Uh, over the shorts, the running shoes, a t-shirt, and a hat, and I'm fine. That's perfect As for, for me. girls, like I personally don't like to wear short shorts during the hike. Same thing, same principle. I want to protect my legs from the sun, from the bugs, and most of the hikes we do, we kind of do rock climbing a bit. So like our legs are going against some rocks, some branches. We don't know what kind of adventure we get into, but. It's just to protect yourself. Um, depending on the weather, when you go, obviously yeah. you have to adapt. Yeah. But honestly, guys, just wear active wear clothing mm -hmm. for high impact exercise fabric that has fast drying um, mm, for the sweat. properties. Yes, okay. for the sweat. Yeah, and mm -hmm. trust me, like I hiked in um, Banff and Jasper and Rifflestoke, like up there in Alberta and British Columbia. On the bottom, it could be very warm, but as soon as you start climbing higher and higher, it could get very cold, you know, especially when you're all the way up high with no trees and stuff like that, it could be very cold. So if you bring like a long sleeve like this, on, you just attach it around your waist or something. And or you, you put it in your bag. Yeah, and then when you get on top, you put it on, then you put it off and it's perfect, you know? Yeah. Alright guys, so I hope this video helped you guys to pack and to plan for a day hiking. On a budget. And guys, stay tuned because we have a lot of adventures coming for you. We have two videos coming up next week, so please go watch them. And yet again, if you like them, hit that big like button and that subscribe. Subscribe, <laughs> guys. Come follow our journey with us. Yes, so see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.